Welcome back to a new video. Today we have right here the new BMW X7 X Drive 40D, the diesel version. This is the 2023 version, the facelift. So in this video, you will find out everything about the car. We will review it, interior, exterior, technical data, material quality, space, multimedia system, everything about the car, you will find out in this video. Of course, I will have a separate video on my channel, test drive video. If you wanna see the test drive, if you wanna see how is the car on the road, check out that video because it's really interesting. If it's not already on the channel, click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come on the channel before we start with a review i want to give you some technical data and if you are in switzerland by the way around switzerland check out auto Fecare in bern i will leave the link in the description so if you want to see this car if you want to test drive it if you want to buy it check them out because they have great service and also they have a great great discount for example on this x7 x drive 40d it's a brand new car and they already have a 21,830 francs discount so it's really impressive i see that they almost all the time have great discounts on the car so if you are in switzerland check them out out of a care let's go to the technical data first of all as i said we have the x7 x drive 40d that means it comes with a diesel engine a 3 liter diesel engine, 6 cylinders in line, 339 horsepower, 700 newton meters. Also, it comes connected with an 8 speed automatic transmission, Steptronic. Very good combination between those two. Also, I said that in the test drive video. The color of the car, if you're curious, it's M Carbon Black Metallic. This is the name. And also, I want to tell you that the starting price of this model that I have right here, it's 123,900 francs. Uh, this is the starting price but if we add all these packages here like the model it's kind of full option you can pause the video and read it out it's full option and it comes for example with 22 inch rims that cost you 2230 francs i will show you when we go outside also it comes with a hook 1700 for a caravan or stuff like that driving assistant professional 3360 francs but this is totally deserved i mean it's the autopilot that works lovely then you have harman kardon sound system the car come also with travel and comfort system 380 francs and it comes with parking assist professional 1780 francs that's 360 degrees camera that I will show you also in the video. Also, it comes with M Sport Package 5840 and it comes with M Sport Pack Pro. And all those things I will present you in the video. Uh, as I said before, usually the price of the car should be around 145,830 francs. But with 21,830 francs discount, the price, the final price will be 124,000 francs. I will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea about the price. Now, more technical data. The weight of the car, 2,776 kilograms. It's quite heavy, but I was surprised to see on the test drive how agile the car was. 7.9 liters is the estimated consumption and 208 CO2 grams emission. It's in F-Class, efficient class, of course. Big car, big engine. Now, let's go a little bit forward with the details. And I want to point out the fact that the car comes with air suspension. I will show you how can you adjust it from down here. And it has lovely, incredible suspension. Also, it's a mild hybrid system. Them. that means it comes with a small battery and a small electric motor that help the diesel engine sometimes to coast or to start from zero and that means you have a better consumption zero to 100 this car can do in 6.1 seconds i was super blow my mind when i find out that i mean it's such a big car to be able to do it zero to 100 in 6.1 seconds it's really good the maximum speed 243 kilometer per hour pretty quick if you ask me also another thing to point out is that the car come with ventilated brake discs in the front and ventilated brake discs on the rear also m sport brake calipers that was included in that package they look lovely i mean they are black they look super super nice anyway those are the most important technical data about the car let's review the car exterior interior and then we will go inside and we will make the conclusion also it's kind of start snowing a lot of snow but that doesn't stop me to review the car so yeah let's do it guys all right guys first of all let's start with the key this is the key the new key from bmw very light very nice very modern i should say here is the lock button so from here you lock the car here you unlock the car you just press it and unlock the car 
and then you have this button for the trunk so here you can actually open the trunk you press the button for a few seconds and the trunk will uh, open and also if you want to close it you press it again and the car can close the trunk but the thing is that you have to hold it all the time uh, until uh, the trunk is closed in order to close it. The other things is that of course the car come with the electronic folding mirrors and come with keyless entries that means you can lock the car by having your finger here and also the car will unlock uh, when you come here. Before we go forward yeah, let me show you that the car come also with soft close so that's a great feature it's a must feature on such a premium car and also you have soft close on the back here so you can see if you don't close the door uh, properly the car will close it for you anyway i want to turn on the lights and we will talk a little bit about the exterior design first of all guys i just want to point out that the car is big i mean it's really really big from outside you can immediately notice that it's very long and very big but surprisingly when i drive the car earlier today i was like super impressed how agile it is and it doesn't feel like it's so heavy when you drive it it's, it's incredible agile also another thing uh, that i notice is that the 22 inch rims fit really well with the car i don't know if the car will look better with the smaller uh, rims but those 22 i think for the size of the car they are just perfect and they look also super sporty we have here kind of the old black edition because you can see everything it's black we have the rims black things around the the windows are black the spoiler uh, the roof rails and it looks really cool i mean this is kind of in the last years was a trend to have everything black the only thing that's not black here but you can do it yourself it's this chrome in the back here that comes across the back of the car but other than that let me go in the front as well to show you the front grille and the front end everything is black and it looks nice i'm not a big fan of black cars but it, it, it looks really really nice anyway uh, if you look from the front end i don't know it give it a little bit of feeling of hyundai cars i don't know these blinkers here i wish somehow to be different bmw uses with that cat eye style of the lights and uh, in my opinion the, the previous version look a little bit better in the front there uh, in terms of lights but uh, it's something new and it's fine I mean it's, it's just fine from the side the car look gorgeous I mean uh, BMW style huge the back of the car uh, it's my favorite part it really really stand out and it keep that classic BMW look and it, it looks really really good from the back now this is the exterior design leave me down your feedbacks uh, keep in mind that the car is built on the same platform as the previous x7 also the engine the diesel engine it's on right now and it's super silent you don't even hear it i mean it's working super super silent and also from the interior i noticed that it's incredible silent anyway it's super snow outside i hope the water doesn't go in the camera so you can see forward but let's start with the upper side of the car so guys look at this i'm 173 centimeters and the car it's much much taller than me i mean it's it's really tall and really big and you will see when we go inside how much space you have up there you have the roof rails glossy plastic roof rails look really really nice uh, also on the roof you can see the glass roof all over the roof there and also uh, you can see the antenna this new beautiful antenna from bmw look quite nice now here we have the roof spoiler that also have some glossy black on the side and it looks it fit quite nice with the tinted windows in the back tinted windows on the side it fits really really well also you have a wiper here and then if you go here around the windows we have huge windows those windows are really big so the visibility from the interior it's it's perfect also you have this glossy plastic this is the trend now glossy plastic around the windows on the upper side on the downside also i like the fact that you have glossy between the windows and also the transition here on the windows with some rubber it makes perfect sense and look at this not like in other cars or like tesla everything it's a ray perfectly i mean they work on every single thing everything is just top-notch i mean the quality it's really really good on the car 
Uh, also here on the wind, on the mirrors, we have huge mirrors, great visibility, blind spot technology here, uh, LED lights, turning signals, the 360 degrees camera that I will show you when we go inside. Glossy plastic also here, the leg of the mirror. Then up there, we have some cameras, some sensors for light and raining, and also the camera for reading the traffic signs, speed limit, and also help uh, this autopilot for lane assist and all that stuff. And also it works in combination with the radar that it's down here. Here is the radar for emergency brake and all that autopilot, you know, that cruise control. Quite, quite nice. Good. Now the hood, I like on the hood, a few things here that they make it quite sportier, you know, these sharp edges here on the side, sharp edges on the other side. It looks quite, quite stunning. I mean, the front end, it's super powerful. It, it gives you that feeling like, go away, I'm here, I'm the boss, you know, something like that feeling. Anyway, the grill in the front, it's lovely. I like the fact that they add this black mat. You see, it's a, it's a black mat. It looks much better than the glossy one. It looks really, really cool. I don't know, for me, it's, it's super nice. I like the matte colors on the car very much. Here we have some pedals that are closed. They will open and close, depend if the engine need to be cooled down, they will kind of open and close. If I'm not wrong or not, I'm not sure about that, but I think they will, they will open up. And also down here, we have the same story. Right now they are closed and they will open uh, when the engine it's, it's quite warm. To, to leave the air go there to cool down the, the different parts. Here is the camera for the 360 degrees camera, the front camera. And also we have some LED light. I don't know if you can see it, but up here the car come with LED lights and it illuminates the front grill from up down in the night time. You can see a reflection down here that looks incredible nice. I really like that. The grill, it's really special. Then the lights, as I said before, BMW LED. You can see here the signature, the turn signals, and also the, the daylight running. It's also there. And down here, we have the Matrix LED light. Lovely, incredible light. I mean, it's super, super. In the nighttime, you have a perfect visibility on the road. My only thing that I want to point out is that BMW, they should kind of keep that look of the BMW lights because they are well known for that, you know, like the cat look. But anyway, this is just my opinion. Uh, it's not a big deal. Anyway, here's some glossy uh, black plastic. And also you have kind of an air intake here. And I think the air will go outside here. Yes, right here will go outside. And then it's kind of an aerodynamic thing. Six parking sensors in the front. Also beautiful design. I love this design here, kind of the M bumper here. So huge entrance. Look at this, you have another entrance and there is the radiator. And then it cooled down the brakes, if I'm not wrong, and all that stuff there. Really, really cool. I mean, it looks really nice. I like the bumper down there. Super, super spectacular. This is the front end. I think I cover almost everything. They add, they still add this plastic protection here around the edges of the car. And this is good because you don't have to repaint the car if you scratch this area or you don't make any rust here in this area because you have those plastics and you can change it easier than repaint the car. This is great. And also you have some elements here, sporty elements that are nice and they are real or not. I'm not sure, I don't think so. But anyway, it looks cool. It looks quite sporty. Down here, the same story, plastic down here on the down part of the car. Even in the back, we have the same protection here and also some added plastics here. Look nice, look, look really nice. Then you have the M logo, M badge on the both sides. The handles are the same uh, and also the quality of the doors are really, really good. I mean, it's really stand out in terms of quality. In the back here, you see, Continuing here with a little bit of black plate, six parking sensors on the rear, exhaust pipes look fabulous. I mean, look at the exhaust pipes, look really, really nice. On the both sides, we have two real exhaust pipes. Now here we have some gray, kind of a glossy gray dark. It looks nice. I like this area. It looks quite sporty and it fits really nice with the back of the car. I tell you, I like the back of the car. Here's the fog lamp, LED light on the left side. We have LED lights on the number plate. This is also good and the reverse camera is there. And then the only chrome on the car, it's here in the back, across the back of the car. Uh, another thing that I like very much are those lights. I think 
they stand out uh, very nice with the BMW logo. They look quite, quite beautiful on the car and nice. Also, even the turning signals, if you look at them, they are a little bit different than the normal ones. Anyway, this is it. Now, the, the diesel tank, it's here on the right side and also the AdBlue, it's also here on the right side, on the passenger side. It's very easy to open and close it. So guys, this is the exterior. I hope I cover everything. I want to show you the engine bay right now. It's snowing and snowing and snowing. Open the engine bay, very easy. I like on the BMW that you pull it two times and you don't have to worry to find that magic button here because it's automatic lift gate and it's easy to open it up. And this is the hood and this is the engine. And I like the fact that they add those stabilization bars here that that's probably you don't feel any vibration inside the car and everything it's so well insulated here the engine is super good insulated they add this part here you don't even feel a vibration i think if i put a cup of water here it's no many vibration man i mean i'm super impressed the engines from bmw they did a great job they they always make great job here's the wiper by the way on the left side and yeah love it so three liter diesel engine this is the this is not the the most powerful version that you can get that's something to keep in mind you have an automatic lift gate very easy to open it up just like that super easy and then you have this impressive trunk from two parts so if you want to put it down you just press this button and then it will kind of go down uh, if i'm not wrong no this is for the suspensions so you can you can leave the car even lower on the back so you can put your stuff easier so if you press this button then it will go completely down and you can have a flat floor here so you can stick inside different items it, it's crazy how much it's snowing now and it's it's really cool i mean the quality here it's incredible here it's incredible you have hooks aluminium hooks in every corner down here under the floor you have a big space it looks like a spare tire but it's not and the great part is that you can put even this protection for the trunk here so if you want to fold down the third row then you can put this protection up there or you can put it down here and it's great that it can fit down here and also you can see how much space you have there it's relatively big space and i'm super impressed even under the seat there you still have a little bit of space to put a lot of stuff like repair kit and wherever things you want to put there so this is a good good space down there also you have some storage space on the left side on the right side here for the medical kit and also some hooks led lights led lights you can see here you can fold the seats from the buttons here i will show a little bit later very good quality here and also you can open this up i think are the fuse boxes down there yes exactly Anyway, good quality, even up here we have Alcantara on the roof, I'll show you a little bit later. And also you have this protection here that I have to take it out and I have to show you the car uh, without it. And yeah, it's super impressive. Let me first of all put this back for a second, you can see how fast it's work. And you have this button for the hook, that's also optional, I think around 1500 euro and it comes automatically. The hook alone and if you want to put it back you just press this button again and then it will go back in like 10 seconds so this is also really helpful but it's optional that's something to keep in mind another thing led light up here i like this stuff i mean in the nighttime it's gorgeous and then you have the buttons to uh, close it and lock it pretty impressive now guys i want to take out actually let me put it down for a while I love the fact that you have a completely flat floor. The practicality in the car is just impressive. Now, I want to show you how easy it is. Let me take this out for a second. Let me put it here for a while. And then I want to show you how easy it is to fold down the seats. So all you have to do is just go here and then you just press those buttons or push those buttons and then the car will, yeah. I, I actually, wait, 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 I actually, push the wrong button so I push the, the buttons in the front the the ones in the back are here okay so if you want to fold those down you just press those buttons here in the back the other one they go down the headrest will go down and then they will go down 
automatically like this and the great part is that you have a completely flat floor this is incredible look at this guys i mean i'm, I'm super blow away how flat is this floor i mean it's incredible it's 100 percent flat and from the point of view of practical it's incredible and even the quality here i don't know how they managed to do it so nice and so flat the quality it's perfect great job bmw from this point of view you can even sleep here you put everything flat there it's gorgeous now i don't want to wet the car too much let me fold down the other seats the same story press those buttons and then the seats will go for you completely down the space in this bmw x7 it's incredible it's blow my mind look at the glass roof look at the seats everything it's completely flat and it's super super long so yeah from i don't know no words for that super practical and i want to go on the side here let me open the door it starts snowing the entrance it's huge it's incredible big and you have so much space here to put your stuff and even to sleep here you can sleep in the car you can camp in the car without any problem it's it's lovely and you still have plenty of legs room i mean the legs room it's incredible even the transmission tunnel it's smaller that was super impressed for me when i see that so it's it's incredible nice i mean the space it's it's lovely guys now i want to put everything back somehow actually i will try to put it back let me put this up here yeah i have to turn it around and then after i put it back i just want to show you how easy it is to to actually put everything back it's a it's a big car so i need i need my two hands here anyway let me stop the video for a while all right i just put that back and then now i want to put the seats the third row up so you can see the front is going forward and then the third go up it's working super fine i'm really curious the headrest it will go automatic or you have to do it manually i think you have to do it manually but still super impressive now i want to close this trunk here and i want to go on the side to show you the the space here the entrance is big now let's go here this those are the seats this is the space in the back there so impressive space from my point of view and also you have those buttons here in order to fold it down and put it up you also have those buttons here and i want to go there i want to show you how much space you have and now if you want to put this up let me show you so you press these buttons ah those are from the other seats i was thinking they are from this seat so you have the possibility also from here to fold it down and then one more time let me put it up come on now yes this one too okay let me put it back now the seats will go in the position from here so you have the possibility to do that also from here and if you want to put the seats back from here i think you have to do it like that anyway you have electric adjustable seats also here in the front i'm not sure if you still have another button for this i don't think so or maybe it's this one you just press it once the upper side and then the seat will go back in the position and now if ah yes now i understand it will go back in the position if you want to go in the back you have to press this one up here look at this and then you press the upper side and then the seat will go forward i guess and i can go inside inside the back there come on show me all right no or you just do it like that it's electrically adjustable so you can adjust uh, the seats you can go all the way in the front i'm i'm totally not sure where was the button that allowed me to somehow go in the back there but i just want to go in the back and i want to show you right now how much space i have here usually this space is for kids around over 12 years old and once i'm here if i put back the front seat i have to go here and then just press this button and then it should go here come on no 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 not so much oh yes okay all right it's come back and now hit my legs and yeah all right it's not that fun but it's okay it comes completely 
If I want to put it a little bit forward, how can I do that? I can do that. Ah, yes, I can do that. Stop, I just push it two times and it goes. Ah, okay, you press it two times. Once you press it two times up there, then it will go and it will make space that you come inside. And if you want to put it back, you just press one more time and then it will come back. And I'm curious here how much it will come back. And if we feel something, it will stop there. So you can still see now. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Like here. And then you can leave it how you want. You can adjust it how you want. And surprisingly, I'm 173 centimeters, but I feel like uh, it can still be placed here. You can see a lot of space there and you still have some space here. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not super comfy, but it's not bad at all. Three fingers over the head is more than perfect. I mean, I have four fingers over my head. Uh, the visibility is great in this window. Uh, here we have some leather, some chrome, some glossy, some cup holder. I like it. I really like it. It's not bad. Here you have a speaker and also you have Alcantara on the roof and then you have also uh, this roof here, a glass roof that you can, I think it can be open up and also you have some lights controllers here and you have a button that you can open this glass roof. Yeah, super nice. Here you have the button and then you have also the lights button. So how cool is that? Really, really nice. So in the back here you have your own uh, glass roof. Anyway, the quality of the seats are incredible good. You have Isofix for child. You can install two child seats. So you can you can come with even smaller childs here in the back. So it's it's very very convenient. Here you have some USB-C and also a hook. That's nice. Very useful in the both sides. So also quite quite cool. I like it. But I I, I don't think it's it's complicated to sit here and I think kids should stay here without any problem one of the most spacious I should say third row car family car that I test come on now I want to go out from here go forward yes now it will go forward you just press it a few seconds it will go forward like that and it will make space for me to go out and I have more than enough space to go out here and I don't want to wet the car anymore so let me put it back then you press it here one time and then it will go back to the position so i'm kind of finished with the back of the car now if you wanna yeah it will go automatically if you still want to adjust it in more position you can do it electrically from here like you do it in the front i'm super impressed that it's able to do that wow super cool i mean you have electric adjustable seats also in the back here let's talk a little bit about the door before we go inside it's a huge man it's a huge door the entrance is incredible but the door it's really huge and they add really good quality here leather stitches everywhere stitches leather here leather here and even down here you have soft material so this is not plastic it's really soft material and you have a huge door band bigger than some cars in the front really impressive uh, but i like the quality you have some led lights insertion here with chrome speaker and also you have some glossy and woodish fake effect i'm not sure if it's wood but it's nice and it looks really cool uh, handle you have the button for the windows uh, you can also fold down the windows and if i'm not wrong you can fold it all the way down yes exactly this is another plus for the car then you have some handle here with chrome very good quality and another small speaker then at the entrance you have the m badge here with uh led light in the nighttime it looks phenomenal also i like the fact that you have a flat floor directly flat entrance here uh, and the transmission tunnel it's kind of non there incredible really really good let's go inside the car and and yeah let me go inside the car oh finally inside it's so much snow outside now guys on the b pillar here you have also a vent so the air will come here crazy from here up you have alcantara everywhere you have hooks alcantara everywhere on the roof lovely quality the quality it's incredible now if you want to put back those seats i think i hope it's work you press this button here come on go back why is not working how I put it back. I have to go on the other side. Really? Come on, man. I don't want that. Let's go on the other side, guys. 
All right, close the door. It's it's hard work to review this car. It's such a big car. <laughs> yeah, and now it's working. You just press this. This one will go forward, and then this will go backwards, just like that. Really good quality also here in this area. Wow, even here it's soft leather. Wow, you get soft leather, Alcantara leather, and this soft material. Oh my God, really great quality. I love it. <laughs> Really, they put everywhere good quality. I'm really curious, even here. No, here it's plastic. I think this is the only place where you have plastic, but in the back there, super, super good quality. Now guys, I don't even need to tell you that you can adjust those back seats in every position you want. And they are really, really good quality. I mean, the quality of the seats, it's crazy. It's, it's soft, they are really, really well made. And you can also adjust them the way you want it. Forward, backward, you can see here, you can put it forward, backward, depend how you want. And also in the middle here, you have an armrest with two cup holders and also some storage space here for your phone. So cool quality. The quality, it's, it's, it's really, really nice. And also you have everything you need in the car. Isofix for child. You can have two childs in the back, two childs here. And I'm not sure in the front, in the front. No, so you cannot make more than four kids. So if you want to buy this car, you need to make maximum four kids. Anyway, oh boy. Ah, oh, the way it feels here, it's incredible. I mean, I really feel like a, like a businessman. And not like a businessman, but I feel super comfortable. And I can adjust the seats all the way on the back. I mean, I think this is maximum. And wow. I mean, it feels good, it looks good. I mean, the glass roof, it's lovely. You have a arm handle here, you have hooks, you have LED here, two LEDs, super nice. And then the visibility outside the window, it's incredible good. I mean, you have huge windows, also a window there, really good uh, visibility. Also here, it's soft and nice. Ah, oh, it's plushy, plushy nice. Those seats are super plushy good. Really, really cool. Here in the front you have some chrome and here you have some USB-C, super cool and some storage space behind the front seat. I love the fact that you don't have a big transmission tunnel, really really love that and it's super spacious. If I go in the middle I can stay here without any problem. Look how much space I have on my legs room, I mean it's crazy. By the way about the space, this is my driving position and this is the space, it's incredible can stretch my legs completely in the front over my head I have more than enough space uh, and also if I go in the middle here I can sit in the middle it's a little bit more stiffer here and also on the back it's a little bit more stiffer because of the armrest uh, but I can stay here without any problem even for long trips and I can have also my legs together like that crazy spacious here in the middle you have the vents they feel good quality, glossy plastic. You have here the, the climatic system, you can adjust it in the back. Some storage space where you can put your phone, for example. Down there you have some USB to USB-C and also the 12 volt port outlet. Great, you have everything you need here. Anyway, we will go in the front. We will talk about the new multimedia system. And uh, the dashboard, it's quite nice. This is the new design of the dashboard and I like very much how they designed that LED light with X7 there on the right side really beautiful and also I love this new multimedia system with the digital cockpit very very nice innovation and very clean design now anyway guys let's go in the front let's talk about those things from the front there big window good visibility Harman Kardon speaker here on the A pillar leather high quality here leather leather and even here soft material the same as in the back huge door bands another speaker here with gray dark beautiful and also this woodish black effect that looks phenomenal chrome and also ambient light the buttons for the trunk here is the button to open the trunk then adjust electrically the mirrors folding mirrors and the buttons for the windows great huge entrance also in the front here really really big you can see from here from this angle the seats and also the glass roof you can see it from here beautiful glass roof it's all over the roof there also you can see those beautiful leather seats and the entrance in the car even the seat belts we have the m seat belts uh, here we have an m logo at the entrance aluminium pedals super super high quality 
adjustable seats, electric adjustable seats from here, every position, lumbar position, side support, you can adjust it. Also from down here, we have the M seat belts also. Lovely, lovely seats, you can see them closely. Uh, incredible quality. They are super, super comfy, super. And also you can adjust the front part here electrically. I'm not sure from where, I think from here, yes. Look at this, you can adjust the front part electrically from here, from the middle part. And if I'm not wrong, you can adjust also the headrest. Look at this, the part of the headrest, the upper side of the headrest. How interesting is that? It's just, oh boy, that's, that's something phenomenal. I love the fact that you can adjust only the back part. Great job, BMW, love the seats. Here you have soft material everywhere, soft, 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 soft. Here, stop material, here we have uh, soft material and here we have leather gorgeous quality here we have some storage space where you can put different things and then you have the buttons controllers for the lights up here some chrome design look at the new vents i love those new vents and they feel super high quality and really interesting depend how you look look how they design it really interesting vents and also those here leather everywhere on the dashboard look at the effect woodish effect here gorgeous i mean the quality of the car it's incredible. Also, the car come with, by the way, let me close the lights. Turn off the lights from here, auto. Now, you, the car come with electric adjustable steering wheel. Look at this. From behind there, you can adjust it forward, backward, left, right, depend how you want it. You can adjust it very simple. It has a little stalk behind here. Visibility around the windows, it's perfect. Nothing to say, good visibility in the mirrors, huge windscreen in the front. And also you can check out for yourself right now how it looks around the windows in the back. You can see one more time the seats in the back there. Lovely car, stuff material here. Actually, it's leather here. A lot of storage space and also you have a USB-C again. Really good quality. And also the center console with this woodish black effect look splendid. I don't know. Uh, it looks really good the way they integrate this with chrome. We have some ambient light here in the nighttime. You can see it on this area and also here. And here we have electronic handbrake, auto hold, downhill assist. We have three different driving mode, eco comfort sport mode. So every time you go in different driving mode, you have the eco blue, you have the comfort and then you have the sport mode just like that then you have start stop engine button this button here is for the camera 360 degrees camera amazing camera while you're driving the car you can see from every single angle it's an optional feature but it's incredible um, you have also the 3d view so you can see what it's around the car while you're driving the car while you're parking the car it's it's phenomenal i mean you have such a big car and this is a must have on the car incredible features you have also panoramic view assistant parking the car come with so many features parking view the car can also park itself it can record how you park last time and then it can park itself next time. It's incredible. It comes with incredible features. Traction control, it's here. They still keep this controller for the multimedia system. I love that because it's much more easier to play with it from here while you're driving than to go uh, and use the touchscreen, even though you can use the touchscreen. It's much easier and safer to use these controllers while you're driving the car and they, they look really nice. From here, you can adjust the air suspension. So if you go on, go a little bit off road, you go higher and you can adjust the suspension all the way up. And if you go in sport mode or you want to have some fun on high speed, you go down and you lower the suspensions, the air suspension, incredible comfort. Here is shift by wire transmission, one of my favorite uh, transmission. Uh, I love to see wire transmission on all cars because we don't have any more that big stick here. It's clean, it's nice and also it's very easy if you want to go in reverse, it's go, just go forward and now you are in reverse. If you want to go in drive, you go down like that, you are in drive and then if you want to put it in park, you press this park button. Super simple, super, super cool. Here in the front you have this beautiful cover also in this woodish effect and then here you have two cup holders 12 volt port you have a space for your phone to charge it wireless and then you have another space for your phone and i actually have my phone there and you can see it one more time really really useful stuff they look really really nice this is the part here they still keep this volume 
knob and also different uh, you can change the different sound and radio station from here this is the hazard light maximum and rear defrosting it's really easy i see many people complain about the climatic system for nothing because while you're driving you need the climatic system you just press maximum you press defroster and right now you will defrost the windows in no time i mean it's, it's super fast and super easy like that you want to close it you just press it one more time and it's still working but it's working at a lower level and this is simple then uh, another thing that i want to point out that i like very much on the car they change on the dashboard are those new um, climatic system vents look at this from here you change the directions of the vents and from here come the air from here come the air it's much more futuristic and look at those sharp edges and lines there they look so cool and also the x7 here with led light integrated in this uh, bar here it looks phenomenal with chrome with this woodish fake woodish color it looks so so good i don't know about you but i like how they design this dash it looks super super premium and also the way they integrate this screen the screen is like a tv like a round you know like a curved tv and it looks so so good and you have a perfect visibility from the driver point of view so nothing nothing to complain from my point of view down here you have the glow box even down here you have soft material and very very high quality material led light on the glow box it's relatively big big glow box it's nice soft material here alcantara on the a pillar up here you have also alcantara on the sunroof protection you have a mirror you have an led light you have the microphone the handle up here the mirror and the mirror look quite big and you have a good visibility in the back there you can see from here yes and then up here you have of course some led lights in this bmw style they still keep this style quite interesting and also of course you can open this glass roof up there just like that and you can close it back you can open the the front part i want to close it really fast but it's it's really really cool the glass roof is fabulous i really like it it's a must have if you have the money for the car go and take the glass roof as well now i want to show you the steering wheel and the digital cockpit and the multimedia and then we will end up the video if you look in the front there you have the head-up display that it's one of the most beautiful if the snow let me zoom in you can see it shows you a lot of information you can see a little bit better in the uh, other video i have the test drive video you can see it better but it's it's lovely i mean it's directly on the windshield and you have so many nice graphic the the colors it looks so it's blend so nice with the reality and it, it's gorgeous it doesn't uh, bother you but it looks perfect it, you can see there a lot of information on the on the head of display it's, it's really really good the cockpit is great it's a new cockpit and also you can somehow customize i mean you can see some information there from here from the stalk you press a button and you can see some information for example like the consumption and stuff like that but in general it's kind of automatic if you put it in sport it will change the graphic if you put it in comfort it will change the graphic if you put it in echo it will have a different graphics so from this point of view it's it's okay because you can somehow customize it if you go for example in the navigation system and you want to somehow travel to some point by the way the navigation it's incredible smooth they use a great processor great ram behind the the technology it's incredible i mean the hardware it's really good if you go to a parking place and you just start the route guidance now turn right and then it should work right now look at this and this is new like uh, mercedes Benz have it also the bmw come with it so if you put a destination you can see the front camera shows you where should go left right and you have a nice graphic and it's so easy to use it and to see in the front there uh, where you should go and and stuff like that it's just really incredible and usually you can see the navigation also here in the front of the cockpit let me show you from here from the steering wheel from this area you can also uh, change and customize what you like to see in the front there so if you go there on the right side and if you go to content and you can go to navigation so for example 
uh, you can go to the navigation and you can see the navigation in the front if you want to change the head up screen design let me show you i don't know if i can zoom in there if you want to change this head up display let me go back and you can change different views and you can see it in different ways and in a simple way in a complicated way in a sport way you can see a lot of information look at this you can customize depend how you want it you can see even the map there on the head of display so you have so many options and so many cool views so it's one of the best in my opinion one of the best head up display let me go back to the cockpit the cockpit it's it's fabulous i mean it's much better than what was before on the bmw and you can see you can see the map you can see some content there you can choose to see the, the consumption you can go let me go up let me go up content content here on the content you have all the information like g meter and stuff like that then you have the navigation you have also the possibility to see the route and information assistant view you know it's like um, this with adaptive cruise control emergency brake it shows you what it's around the car then you have the content with consumption and then you have like and then you have like the normal uh, speed and stuff like that journey view so this is it this is this is really cool i mean this new digital cockpit it's much better than what was before and i like it very much and also i have a separate video with it if you want to see the multimedia now the steering wheel oh boy it's the m steering wheel that bmw use it also on most of the cars and it's incredible good the grip it's great it's it's quite thick and also you have finger a grip behind the steering wheel it, it's fabulous the quality it's incredible the stitches everything look nice and feel good you have also the pedals to change the gear manually if you want to have some fun you have physical buttons to uh, set the cruise control while you're driving then you have here the the volume and the controller for the for the cockpit and also the voice command and the telephone really cool as well but you probably know already the steering wheel good guys now the only thing that left is the multimedia so let's talk a little bit about the multimedia you can control it from here while you're driving much easier uh, but you can also use the touch screen now first of all the navigation you already see it incredible navigation i mean it works super super fast and it's load in no time uh, it's update it can be updated through wireless so this is also a great thing and it's it's moving super 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 responsive so it's one of the best navigation it's full of details and information so you will need a little bit of time to get used with it and then once you learn it it's work like super good then this is the home page where you can go in different um, settings like you can connect your phone I will have a separate video on how to connect your phone you can add also an eSIM on the car if you have that if you want to have that uh, in your phone and also in the car personal assistant the car come with this voice command I'm not a big fan of it so keep in mind that you can use it on the my BMW here you have all the information about the car while you're driving it shows you a nice graphic here uh, then you have the content here the vehicle status if it has some errors then you have also the journey data all the consumption that you had before then you have the x view while you're driving it shows you that kind of um, off-road information about the car so this is also cool about the suspensions and yeah really really interesting stuff uh, also you can see here vehicle app if you go to vehicle app here you find all the application but we will talk a little bit later about that and then let me go back i uh, will go there in the future you have also the uh, weather here and also the route preview then you have the traffic on route and then here you can add different widgets if you want to have the time you can add the time you can add different widgets on the first page so you don't have to go in the menu now on the left side here as you notice we have some shortcut buttons one of it is the navigation because it's important one of it is the phone because you have connectivity to the phone one of it is the media because you use it most of the time and one of it it's the menu so if you press this one it will go you to all apps here you find all the apps of the car all the settings here you find everything so uh, you have android apple car play you can connect your iphone and also your apple uh, android phone then you have spotify on the car that comes with the car also the seat comfort here i will show you all the settings 
uh, but with what to start vehicle status you already see it before exterior lights here you have all the settings of the exterior lights then we have driving settings on the driving setting it's very important because you have the chassis here on the chassis you have the possibility to adjust depend how you want those information here like the damping then you can go to sport or comfort steering sport comfort and then you have reset the echo then you go to sport individual there is much more complicated here you have a lot of extra settings so you can also adjust it how you want it now if you go to driver assistance systems here we have all the safety features so you can activate and deactivate different features it comes with so many safety features if you get this option and then you have like front collision warning early medium uh, then you have also the side collision warning giveaway warning exit warning uh, emergency stop um, a lot of stuff really parking those are parking stuff then you have the driving things like limit assist distant control and you, know, you can also activate and deactivate all those safety features from here you need a little bit of time to to get into it and to learn what everything will do but yeah they, they are really cool feedback uh, via steering wheel so if you want a vibration in the steering wheel when those safety features are activated the trailer mode also here you can change different settings so those are the most important settings of the car then of course we have the door and windows from here you have all the settings to the door and windows uh, to the tailgate so you can somehow customize it then we have the display settings where you have the head-up display you can choose the height and the uh, rotation the brightness and all that information then you have the instrument cluster where you can change also here some information and then the control display where you have the brightness at night then we have the climatic control that you can also activate the climatic control from down here because this area will always stay down here so from here you can act change the temperature very fast but you can go in the menu if you want to turn off the climatic system it's very simple you just press it like this it's off if you want to turn it on put it on it's auto if you don't want auto leave it on manual and you can synchronize you can choose from here where you want the air to go and also here you have the heating on your seats for you and the passenger here so really interesting I, I tell you it's, it's really cool it's really easy I see many people complain about but once you get used you can get used very easy with it then you have also the air circulation auto air recirculation and you have also the settings of the climatic system from here you can change a few extra settings after climatic system we have your service that does not so important the car come also with hotspot you have the possibility driver recording yeah this is also super cool feature but you need to be to have a user so i cannot use it because i didn't have a user on the car made interior light from here from the interior light you have also the ambient light so you have a few colors uh, right here if I'm not wrong you can choose from there and also you have like the brightness the steering wheel light and I don't know I don't remember how you change those colors maybe I have to deactivate this in order I'm not sure or it's automatic or you can change the colors I'm not sure I can remember then it's the reading lights here and then we have the system settings also here a lot of settings for example the language the voice command uh, the units you can change the kilometer miles uh, where was that here kilometer miles power torque pressure uh, temperature how you like in which kind of meters you want to see it and the sound system you have to activate it from here to use all those settings to change all the settings the gesture control touchpad pop-up notification getting started passenger airbag do not disturb wireless and all that stuff all that settings extra settings you find it here uh, in this menu live vehicle and then we have like seats and comfort here on the seats we have the driver seat from passenger seat uh, second row seat so from here you can kind of activate and deactivate a few features and we have also the news you can see the news you can see the navigation phone spotify radio apple carplay and android and mobile devices and personal assistant so in general this is it guys it's quite simple once you get used with it and once you learn it it's 
it's super easy to use and you know where to go very simple and it, it's quite nice it's really really modern so i guess i cover everything in the video i don't know if i miss something so let me know or write me down in the comment if you still have question if i didn't cover everything i will answer with pleasure in my opinion this is one of the best sporty suv that you can buy today on the market the biggest sporty suv i don't think you can get a sportier bigger suv like this in in a price range like that so anyway that was the video hope you enjoyed it i hope you get some useful information from it also if you have questions ask me down below if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out auto care in bern i will leave the link in the description check them out guys they have great prices and they are super super nice so definitely deserve to to talk with them also my rating for the car for this bmw x7 from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9. it's a good car it's a well-built car with a lot of fun to drive and a lot of great features so yeah that was the video don't forget to like share subscribe thank you for watching if you want to see the test drive with the same car i will have a separate video on the channel click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out until next time stay safe and see you soon guys bye